Okay, hello and welcome back everyone. Yeah, I'm Kevin from Kevo Kevo MC and what I have in front of me is this Yashi yeah, KML 50mm f1.4. Now this is a pretty good lens. Only only thing is that I do not like the adapter. So I got I have this A6400 which I use on a daily basis essentially for these lenses. I like it quite a lot and I have this Comlai to EF adapter. And I took all the electronics out because this thing is pretty rubbish with the electronics. And now we have this, which is the CY to EOS adapter. I got this thing when I bought the lens. And find this. You can find these things on the internet, on like online stores for pretty cheap. And the thing with this is that this thing mounts with no locking mechanism. The first thing I saw when I saw this, yeah, was like, how the heck do you lock this thing in? And it turns out it's not even locking in. So it's only like snap in with a leaf spring. So let's find the red dot. Find this red dot over here, yeah. Put them together like this and twist them on. Then you might be thinking like how the heck do you take this thing off? Maybe like push a spring inside or something like that? No. You just push this thing off like this, see? So as you can see this is quite a problem when you're changing aperture. You can stop down, but you can't stop up, see? So once you stop up, it just slides out so what I can do with this is essentially as you can see this thing locks in with this little pin right here yeah so this little pin right here like only spring thing can bend and whenever this thing goes inside this bit right here yeah see it locks in and when you twist it out it bends see just like that yeah and I do not like that mechanism at all. Not even a bit. But I think I can make this thing be better. How? As you can see, this thing does not need to bend the whole way out. Or it does, but it does not need to be that soft essentially. Yeah. So what I can do now is I can probably bend the thing a bit inwards. Like this. So let's get some tweezers. Some fatter tweezers. And essentially what I'm gonna do is hold this like this then bend this guy outwards by a bit hopefully by bending it outwards by a bit I can like sort of push the pin a bit harder so by doing that I hope that I can lock it in a bit better now it's still gonna fall out because of I don't know so heck yeah so what I think I can do now is I can bend the bottom bit down by a bit. Or maybe let's take the screws out, yeah? So, so let's see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the screws out. It has two screws. This one. And another one beside it. Now I have this. So next, this thing has two leaves, which one of them essentially holds the thing and like pushes the thing forwards. And this one's for the locking, so it has like these segments, this guy and this guy, two bits of the leaf spring, yeah. So my idea now is to get some, some vice grips, yeah. Let me go text my vice grips, if I can find them. I'm not sure if I can actually find five scripts, but I think I can do better with my work. Yeah, so I think I can probably push this guy down on something. Like for example, wait for a while, yeah. Okay, so what you do is just push this guy right here, yeah. And you can see the front leaf is like sort of lifting up. Let's try put some tweezers under this front leaf and then push this front leaf slightly up. There you go. In theory, this will help push the thing a bit forward. So now let's test this thing out, yeah? Let's screw the contraption in. The thing with these Chinese tablets is that they don't even care about quality. They only care about like if, if this works or not. And even if it, it does work, it's often not gonna be the best. So you're still gonna have like 
have to like modify this thing before you can actually get it to work properly and so that's what I'm, I think they're liking they're liking like this spirit of workmanship I think that's what you call it so they're not like proud of what they do but at least what they do works and if it does not do the job very well I don't think they care so yeah that's why we still have to like modify these things to like get them to fit properly <clears throat> Let's not find the thread. Oh, hasn't this thing found the thread? Not sure. Let's push this thing in. I think this thing might be too short. Oh, I think it's not pushed up enough. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Then let's try again. That's pretty rubbish, yeah. Let's let's see how long this screw is. It's not very long also, so I can assume that they're exactly the same length. Then let's push this thing to one side. Oh, it's so hard to like get this to work. Wait, 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 wait. I've got to make this work. If I don't get this to work, then I'm going to lose my adapter essentially. <clears throat> so, let's get a clamp, like one of those bench clamps, and I'm going to continue, yeah? So, wait. Okay, we got a small clamp. Let's now clamp this thing down with this small clamp. I have larger ones, but I'm not sure if I need those larger ones. Let's clamp this side. Okay. Now let's use the tweezers to like push the shim in place. like that yeah okay now you want to push the thing around until it actually fits oh shit and it goes where it belongs which is easier said than done there you go shit yeah it's truly easier said than done so let's push this thing one more time yeah go and here I have the thing in so then let's screw this thing in I hope you can actually see it yeah oh shit it's just shifted should be in there come on go in go in go in go in come this this thing hasn't come in like come on heck Let's put this thing in again, hopefully this time it works. The heck? This is like harder than taking the lens itself apart. Okay, I think that should work. Now let us try. Okay, now time for the second boot, yeah? So, let's take this one in. I mean, yeah, put this thing in and screw it into that hole. Hopefully this time I actually gets it. Yeah, I think I got it. So I'm gonna screw these things in. Okay, nice. Then now the spring is way more stiff than it was. 
let's try putting this lens back on so red on red oh shit man it just like f fits on top of the thing so let's just try to like disengage this thing by a bit push it slightly down just like that yeah then push this thing down push this little tab down yeah while I screw these things in by doing that I'm hoping that this thing will stay in place until after I screw this thing in on stay yeah red on red and it will not come out now see nice now this thing is firm focus on it see this thing is firm as heck nothing will move until you press this thing let's press it let's reverse it by a bit press and remove that is how a good adapter works yeah so trust me you do not want something like this unmodified you want to have this thing stiff and for my also hear the sound it makes listen to it yeah click see so once it's on here it is on here like it is literally on here this wiggling is on the eos adapter not on the adapter itself and that's why i call quality and usefulness if this thing slips every time you change aperture it's not gonna be useful to be honest yeah so this is what people are looking for if you do work on it i mean in the adapter business make something like this you can just bend it up like five degrees maybe maybe less and it'll hold as strong as this people won't be able to release this thing without taking this thing off their body but it's better than having the lens fall off every single time you change aperture so some chore that was like taking the lens off every single time you change the aperture now becomes a chore every single time you change lenses on the adapter so if you for example only have one c for example only have one c y adapter you can like change the lenses and it's also not that slow like for example you had this yeah in its original config it'll just slip off like crap with this you have to open this find the lever do this and then twist it off how much longer is that gonna take nearly nothing so yeah please make better adapter shine yeah this now is my lens that works see so <clears throat> hopefully this video helped you a lot in fixing your slippy what you call this thing adapter I really do hope I help a lot of people because this thing did help me a lot like like if you don't have that fix then it's gonna like fall out every single time you change adapters I mean change apertures and that's not good like really not good like you might be aiming for a shot then it's like a bit too bright you want to change it down to f4 plop, and this thing falls out imagine that like every single time you do it it's like it's like bam oh I gotta change the aperture I gotta hold this thing hold the front barrel and if you're at infinity you can't really hold the front barrel so you gotta like have be forced to like focus down to 0 0.5 hold the barrel switch apertures put this thing back on the adapter then do your stuff see so that's pretty hard to do so yeah thanks for watching hope you like it and goodbye subscribe if you want if you don't then i'm fine with that thank you i'm off